What's up, trombones? Um, I'm here to take you through the second half of Ruby, which will start, it's actually the second half in a little bit more, but we'll start at the trio, and we will play through the trio, and once we get to here, we'll rest for a couple measures, and then we'll pop back up to the moderato as per the DS. So that little symbol says we're gonna go back up to the moderato, we'll get back into our two flats and our key signature, we'll play two and a half measures, and that little Coda will pop us down to the last line and take us to the end, okay? So just so you're aware, the trio's in 2-4. We have three flats in our key signature. So A's are flat in this little section, and we do have some A flats, okay? Once we go, once we take the, D, the DS back to moderato, our A's become natural, just like a regular B-flat scale, and we are in B-flat scale all the way until the end, okay? So what we're going to do with this piece is we're going to take it, We're going to take it 70 beats per minute, okay? So we will start at the trio. We'll take the DS. Now, I'm not going to count all that rest. So once we get A flat, D, E, once we get to that E flat, I'll rest. I'll give you one, two, ready, and bump, 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 okay? So just be aware of that. Here we go. Let's play our first note of the trio. It's a high B flat. One, two, ready, and. There's the first note. Here we go. Make sure your A's are flat at the trio and become natural at the moderato. One, two, set, play. Ruby. Next time I hear you or see you or whatever, the next time we do this, I will take you through the entire piece. We'll go a little bit faster and we'll put some dynamics in, a little more dynamics, okay? So hope you're doing well. We will see you next time. Take care.